Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Anime on Draft, episode number 33. Um, joined 33. here being 33. your narrator. 33. It's 33. 187. Uh, here is your narrator, your host, your lovable sadist, Drupal. And I am joined by um, those other two guys who are always here with me sometimes. The, Say hi. the better two. Yeah. You're better. The guys who, the guys who have rational thoughts and aren't aren't crazy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> aren't um, so anyway, uh, we have an interesting episode here for you. Uh, one of our shows ended uh, this week, so we'll talk about uh, what we rated that guy. Uh, that would be our MMO junkie. Also, um, kind of an interesting uh, beer combo that we have this week. We are doing shand- shandy gra- shandy gaffs. Which is a mixture of ginger beer and a beer. Um, and so we'll talk about our different combos because I think each of us got a different combo. And we're just we're doing that because of um, the Love is Like a Cocktail episode 10 had Shandy Gaffs uh, for this week. So, um, And then we're going to talk about the rest of our normal anime uh, just like we always do. So uh, let's get started. Um, so sh- sh- Shandy Gaffs, guys. Um, Woo! I'm excited. I know we yeah. kept talking about uh, wanting to do a, a beer or a cocktail combination from this show, and I I'll say this is you know this is this is a good one to do. And and I've made mine. Uh, mine is from a ginger beer called from um, Brooklyn Crafted. It is an extra spicy, unfiltered ginger beer. And when they say spicy, it, it's it's pretty spicy. And mm. I mix that with. Uh, this beer called Key Lager, and it is brewed and bottled by Barrel House Brewing Co. from Paso Robles, California. Probably not something that you guys would be able to get. So, pretty. What type of beer is it? Pretty neat. A lager. A lager? A lager. A key lager, oh, which is a 22 ounces of handcrafted liquid vacation, light and crisp. This liquid Mexican, vacation. this I Mexican mean, meets American style lager boasts a unique blend of citrus hop brightness and a subtle biscuit malt character with a smooth finish. So there, there you guys have it. And you mix this with that extra spicy ginger beer, and I mm. like spicy to begin with, and it is absolutely delicious. Nice. It's great. They mixed it with the spicy sriracha beer. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice, dude. That sounds awful. You, mm-hmm. Wow. <clears throat> that sounds disgusting. Yeah, it sounds great. And now it's a thanks, Mexican, thanks for American, Asian beer. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds yeah, great. It's, it's just a, a big old hodgepodge. Yeah. It's really <laughs> fucking good, though. It's spicy. It's refreshing. It's a uh, little bit malty. Um, the ginger is kind of sweet and spicy in there. You know, it's just, it's it's really good. This combo is really good. So um, I talked about mine. Uh, Rolando, what's, uh, what's your combo going to be for today? Go ahead. What? Go ahead. Who? I just heard go. He said Rolando. I did not hear him say that on, on oh. the <laughs> It, well, Rolando, go ahead. Nice. I love how this new setup is working, Drew. Yeah, it's um, great. I, I live in a cave, and uh, <laughs> the jazz men no, kill you every night. The, no, nothing. Cut nothing off every works. other word that you fucking say. I, I I I echo. You know, we just we we got this great setup. It's All right. Fantastic. Well, okay. So I guess I'm next. Um. So I have Yay. the Anchor Brewing. California Lager, Lager, obviously by Anchor Brewing, and um, what? Yeah, surprising, right? And it is yeah, no mixed way. with uh, lemonade. Ooh. So you went for a shandy, an actual yes. regular shandy. Well, I mean, they're all shandies. This is just ba- a shandy the, gaff. The, the the basic <laughs> bitch of shandies. Yeah, but the the shandy. Shandy slash Shandy Gaffer just terms for, um, you know, beer that's diluted beer with a non-alcohol or, yeah. 
all that good thing. So I went with the yeah. uh, classic, which is mixing it with lemon. So I grabbed some lemonade. And um, mm. I can read you the description of this California lager, but it is very long. So I don't want to. But I will <laughs> read. Yeah, don't do it. I will read you, you the won't. highlights of it, which would be Ooh. this all malt brew is christened with lagered what and lagered sorry not with i can't read um in our cellars <laughs> it's golden color distinctive aroma creamy head balanced depth of flavor and smooth finish make anchor california lager a delicious celebration of california's unique brewing heritage now uh, anchor brewing is uh, a fairly i guess common uh, brewery at least in california and so i was pretty interested when i saw the bottle it's got the california bear on it and um it's a pretty malty beer i have to say but mm -hmm. mixed with the lemonade it's actually very refreshing i've had like a bottled shandy before that from um i forgot what brewing company but I didn't enjoy it too much, but, you know, personally making your own shandy where you get control of all the ingredients is actually mm -hmm. uh, really good. Yeah, I agree. With Quite that. enjoyable. I've had it is. I've had shandies like I think like Lewin Kegels or whatever, and it does doesn't taste good. So I like I like being able to control it. I agree. Um, Alec, uh, mm -hmm. you were telling me you have a kind of interesting combo uh, going on here. Uh, would, yeah. would you care to, to uh, describe it for us? Yeah, so I went with a stout, and I bought Guinness. And so I have Guinness and the Bundaberg ginger beer, which I thought I got regular, but apparently I got diet. So Ooh. I Ooh. don't know the difference in flavor between <laughs> diet and regular. For all I know, it could be ruining things, but it's still very delicious. But I kind of did a little change because I – so I picked the beer this week. And so I was like, let's do that. And Drew's like, yeah, I was thinking that too. And so we went with this. But I've never had it before, so I did a little bit of research on what the fuck it is and what they are and all that. <clears throat> anyway, so what I found out. Uh, here, here, I'll read something real quick. Name of this British concoction from the late 19th century is thought to be derived from the London slang for a pint of beer, Shant of Gatter. Shant or shanter meaning pub and gatter meaning a, being a word for water. This pub water was a refreshing way Refreshing way to lower the potency of the beer. Ginger ale can be substituted for the spicier ginger beer. So, that's cool. Anyways, um, so I made my Guinness shanty shandy ga, shandy gaff <laughs> with. Um, it's really hard to say. It is. It's for for no funky. reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually took honey, diluted it with water, poured it into the bottom Ooh. of the glass. Then did ginger beer and Guinness, and then threw in a little lime juice, and it turned out really dope. Um, wow. So like Guinness kind of has that odd bitter taste that is like typical of like that just like uh, this. It's like stouts, but normally you don't taste it because it's they're stronger. And it completely got rid of that. It had this really great like sweetness with the maltiness and like the toastiness that you get from Guinness. And then I also tried it with. 50 50 just ginger beer to uh guinness yeah. and it kind of reminded me of an irish car bomb in terms of <laughs> like it was really creamy and sweet uh, and it was just really good so either way is delicious and if you're scared if you only think you can use a lager or an ale you can definitely use a stout like guinness so yeah. that's my spiel and i actually really yeah. like this never had one before Definitely going to do it again in the future. I bought Stella actually as well to try it with just a lot, a regular lager. So mm. we'll see how that goes on another day. Well, since we're uh, with you here now, Alec, uh, what would you rate your uh, concoction? I guess uh, since we're all just doing like the, the, the one to one, maybe just rate the one that you did uh, with Guinness and the uh, ginger beer, your special the mixologist 50 /50? special version. <laughs> I'll do the 50, 50. That, yeah. The 50-50, I definitely would drink this again with Guinness and probably with other stuff. Um, I might try, like, you know, lemonade and all that sort of stuff as a drink 
itself, I definitely think I'm going to give like the Shandy gaff or Shandy. I'm going to give it like a 4.25 because it's super versatile. It tastes good. It makes it palatable. You get more out of your beer. Um, the Guinness version of it, um, I think I'll give a four. Yeah. Rolando, uh, what do you think about your concoction? Um, it's surprisingly good. So we're a rating. Uh, I don't know how I would rate this because this is um, kind of different. Kind of different, but um, I would say in terms of so, like, if we're gonna go rating, as in, like, how much would I <laughs> recommend doing this again, or you know, like making it for other people? I would say that would be a definite must. So, mm-hmm. mm, how would you express that in between like a rating out of five? Because it's not like <laughs> we're, you know, judging it off of the same merits as the other beers. So I'm right. Maybe, maybe just go off of like overall taste and like, so I was going off of drinkability, um, how taste. likely I am to make it again for myself, for others or suggested to others. Um, and then, like I said, versatility, cause it's kind of that kind of a drink rather than, I, I guess I did that in my head. I did okay. it differently than I would like a regular beer. If well, you have any other criterias, throw them it, in there. <laughs> if we're, if we're just going off of how much we rate the overall drink Shandy, as opposed to the one I made, then mm. I would say the drink it. Yes. Is a probably a four out of five it's not going to appeal to everybody but it is definitely one that i will make again and would make for other people in the case of the ingredients i put together i would put two thumbs up two thumbs up nice i only have two Two thumbs thumbs up i i I, I agree with both of you this is this is like good drinkable tasty would definitely make again um might start stocking ginger beer because I just like ginger beer in general and I always forget about it. It's good for your bowels. Um, yeah. It's spicy. It's good for a lot of things. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Uh, four, four for me. Uh, my concoction, probably about a four as well. Um, just overall uh, tasty, delicious. Um, and it seems like because you can mix it with Guinness, apparently you can't really go wrong, like with this mixture. So it's, it's, it's good. I mean, good I don't know around. if the peanut butter stout by Belching Beaver would be a good, who, who knows, dude, maybe we should do that. <laughs> I, but I was actually thinking the Sriracha stout might not be bad. <laughs> yeah, it would be, it would probably be really good. Like this, the other thing uh, is if you're not a big beer style. fan, this could definitely kind of like bridge you in if you wanted to just like try because it gets yeah, you still you, get some of the beer flavor but it's definitely diluted and yeah. you get that sweeter especially if you flavors. chose like a lager kind of like i did something that's not too alcoholic not too bitter um just an easy to drink beer it's gonna it's gonna bridge that gap for you pretty well and uh, kind of like our uh, our girl from the anime she drank it and she was like wow this is really easy she and chugged like, it don't even say drank like, it she yeah, just she downed fucking, the whole thing she downed she every fucking it. drink <laughs> yeah but this was an entire pint like I know holy fuck but like she can she it. like it's easy to chug this because <laughs> it's like generally ginger ale it's and like beer juice. like it's too like a light beer and ginger ale that's easy to chug yeah um other than that for this episode it was like an april fool's episode um she gets fake into a mad sunder he turns into a bear and but not really and then she gets pouty sunder mad and then for april they fools. love it then they love each other and they bang so Good episode. They, she was mad because it was April Fools. She's not actually mad. April Fools. Yeah, April Fools. Yeah. He's a bear. Mm-hmm. April Fools, she's mad. Yeah, April Fools. Yeah. Um yeah. Exactly. I think the best thing I think the best thing we got out of this episode, guys, was this concoction. Because I want to make more. It's delicious. 
Yeah. Nice. Do it. I will. Will you though? No. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go to a bar and be like, can you make me a Moscow mule? But instead of a, a mule glass and instead of vodka, can you just put 50 beer. 50 ginger beer and, and, and beer? He's like, and so you like, want a shandy? Then, they're going to be like, are you asking for a shandy? They're like, yeah, no, I want a yes. Moscow mule, but I want you to substitute. But, but with these, but with these specifications, no mint, no ice. I want ginger beer and I want this beer and make it. Bitch. No copper mug. <laughs> yeah, of course not. Idiot. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. this would be cool in a copper mug. <laughs> Can't fit as much, though. You just like make more. You remake it yeah. into a bigger container. Yeah. Oh, you get like stir. a... Oh, that's... Yeah. You guys are, you guys are fucking smart. Yeah. Um, Alcoholics, dude. Ooh. We're a smart breed. Yeah. <laughs> Alcoholics and weebs, that's dangerous. Uh, Ooh, mo- mo- moving on. Moving on, guys. Alka weebs. Alka weebs. Ooh. Anime on weebs. Um, moving on. Weebs on draft. We had our season finale, <laughs> guys, of the show that we've enjoyed all season, and that is Recovery Beam. of an MMO Junkie. Um, episode 10, the last episode um the last i'll just start i'll just jump into it i'll start off with you alec uh what do you what do you think of this episode um did you enjoy the season finale do you want more what's going on i definitely want more um (laughs) i thought it ended in kind of a funny way um but i i it also felt kind of abrupt but all in all i definitely enjoyed it um i want more i want another season i don't want them to stop Um, and, and that, that's where I'm at. I'm like, I want more of, I want them to go longer so they can do the, like, they can talk about the side characters more and like flesh them out and show some of that stuff. I want to see more of just everybody. It was a fun show to watch and enjoyable. And I hope we get another season. Well, lucky for you, they did announce an OVA. So we'll be, uh, looking forward to to that. Tied you over maybe a little bit more. Yeah, just a little. Um, Rolando, what what did you think of this uh, finale? Finale. Hmm. Finale. Tiro finale. Um, uh-huh. I liked uh, the way they kind of wrap things up. It's still exactly what I expected. But sometimes you just need like one of those cliche finales that kind of like makes you feel good. Um, yeah. When... <clears throat> when it happens to like, it doesn't always have to be like completely unique and different, but yeah, it satisfied me as a viewer. It didn't like, I wasn't completely satisfied, but we can talk about that in terms of like the series as a whole. But like the last episode itself did satisfy me. It answered like all of the questions, I guess you could say between Sakurai and, uh, um, Mori Mori Chan. So I, I like how, you know, they kind of snuck in the whole hand holding thing at the end. Cause you know, their whole relationship is awkward and they can only <laughs> really be themselves online, which kind of is it's in itself, like a reflection of the current modern generation, <laughs> all these, all of the yeah. millennials, all of us. So it was nice to see how, uh, they were able to take that step forward at the end. I thought it was pretty classy the way they kept it, you know, no kissing, no anything like that. They kept it, you know, straight up because I honestly, I couldn't even like imagine them kissing at this, at the point in their relationship because <laughs> of what you said, like how fucking awkward out. it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nosebleeds. But, but yeah, they, they kept it, they kept it classy. I think the whole series is kind of summed up when uh, he walks her home um, she's on her steps going up and, and he says, you know, hey, hey, wait a second. Um, you know, can we um, continue our relationship online? But not only that, can we also like see each other outside of that? And that's exactly what we got. We got them going on a date um, and you can see kind of their two characters um, in the mirror. Kind of it seems like it almost seems like they're moving on uh, with their lives, those two characters, and they're going to, you know, kind of concentrate more on the relationship in real life. Um, I don't think they'll ever lose um, 
their love for MMOs because it's so deep rooted in their past and has brought them so much happiness. But uh, they now kind of realize that they can be together with each other, not only online, but offline as well. And maybe a little bit more than their uh, online life. So I was happy with the show, guys. Um yeah. Kind of what you said, Rolando, it was it, it was predictable, but sometimes you just kind of need that predictability. Um, you don't have to you can kind of turn your brain off and just enjoy a good, well told story. And we've we've talked about it as a whole. And maybe you can kind of um, either of you guys can kind of elaborate on this. Um but we've we've talked about in the past, like maybe, you know, we wanted more character development. We had like a little bit of it for different characters. And then all of a sudden it's just like the drop of the hat. Those characters never show up again or show up for like two seconds. And it's like kind of like, oh, uh, what's going on here? But uh, overall, um, I, I I really enjoyed this series. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was real good. Well, if you guys don't have anything it. else for it, uh, would you like to give uh, your ratings? I can start us off if you want. Go ahead, Dad. Do it, so, Uncle. Oh, sorry, so Uncle. I rated this. He's our Uncle. Dad. <laughs> uncle did I, uh, I don't know where that came from, but, you know, <laughs> let's, let's do it. Everybody's <laughs> Uncle. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I rated it pretty highly, um, kind of for all the reasons that I've mentioned already. I gave it a 9 on uh, my anime list out of 10 um, for all the reasons I already just went through. So if uh, you don't remember, rewind like two minutes and you'll hear it. So 9. Okay. Alec. 9. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she's also going to 9. Die. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I would give it a nine. I think it's really good. Um, I think that if I got to see more of the other characters, it would have gotten higher. Um, and I wish it were just a couple episodes longer because it mm-hmm. wouldn't have felt so rushed in the last bit at the end here. And I don't think I would have said that the end of it all just felt kind of abrupt. And then I probably would have given it like a 9.5. I don't know about a 10, but a 9.5 because it's just... It's fun. It's fun. Ten's hard. Fun show to watch. Yeah, ten's, ten's really hard. hard. I like. It would I mean, need like something magical where it like leaves me like, like there's a hole or something. I'm like, what's gotta missing? be like Monogatari Steins Gate level to, to get to a ten for yeah, me so, at least. But <clears throat> yeah, Orlando. I mean, yeah, I could push up to a nine point five if they do. Orlando. that. <laughs> if they do. That. All right. Um, yeah, I overall enjoyed the series as a whole. It did have some, you know, <clears throat> spots where I felt it could have improved, like, like you know, going over those side characters that we kind of just had appear for like an episode and then just were gone. But and we're I mean, super likable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The 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 main thing is they told the story about like the two main characters and they were the focus of it for the whole time. So. I do credit them on being able to accomplish that and to, you know, put a satisfying ending because to this it, arc. Yeah. Well, like in a, in a sense, it's not just, um, you know, putting two people together that were kind of already slated to be together from the start, but the, they were able to do it satisfyingly well enough that I was happy to see just what they gave us rather than you know them explicitly like m- have them make out in front of us you know so i'll credit them on have them make able- out just because yeah yeah but i mean just because just because um yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> in terms of how much i enjoyed it and all of that i'll give it a nine as well um if i were gonna go break down like individually i would probably give the story itself like an eight and like other stuff, but overall a nine. Cool. Nah, so go watch the show guys. It's dope. Yeah. It's real good. Yeah, it's real something good. you can just watch and enjoy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I not, not many gripes other than like nitpicking. Um, mm-hmm. super good. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Let's uh, let's move on. Uh, we got a couple other shows uh, to talk about um, that don't have anything to do with uh, Shandy Gaffs or Not MMOs. Um, the know. first one, well, 
That's true, I guess. Uh, the first one is a little sister is all you need. Um, we got confirmation this week, gentlemen. We yeah, we were I knew. correct. We, I knew. we were in there. There was not a uh, doubt in my mind. There was no doubt in my mind that Chihiro was a, was a girl. <laughs> from, from like episode two, it was like 90% sure this is this is a, a chick. And then yeah. the dude goes for the butt grab and yeah, this is a chick. 100%. Well, let's 100 also, million percent. Just look at another character named Chihiro, which is Chihiro from Danganronpa. Mm-hmm. Initially thought to be a yeah, girl, but it was actually bear. a boy. So they clearly name they clearly stuff. name traps Chihiro. <laughs> <laughs> Although, is it really a trap? I mean, I guess if you're a girl, this is an anti-trap. It's an anti-trap. Like, it's, it's a, a trap if you're trap. a girl. Reverse it's trap. A reverse trap. Yeah. Watch out, yeah. ladies. Watch out for those and, uh, ambiguous looking people with ambiguous um, <laughs> names, I guess. And our our fucking <laughs> our accountant, our CPA Ashley, is like fucking all about it, dude. Gets in the bath <laughs> with her and everything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she loved it. She you guys was all like about that it. scene. Yeah. I, I the part I liked most about this episode, besides confirmation, was. The fucking ninja like reflexes killing cockroaches. She had like spidey senses and then fucking like, and it was like there was just a shoe and then a towel and she just kept killing the fucking bugs and it was a okay. I thought for sure you were going to say the pictures of all the animals' dicks at the zoo. Oh, I thought that's no, for that was sure pretty funny though. What, what you were going to say. <laughs> no, I thought he was going to talk about the slime monster little sister. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay guys, these are all runners up. these are all good like runner ups. But is, the cockroach ninja episode. abilities the cockroach ninja abilities took the cake for me. There, there's just something about that she was standing there washing dishes and it was like and then then it was just I was like dying laughing. I don't know why. Well, the thing that made that scene me. those scenes more funny too was the cockroaches were blurred out. That's Yeah, they blurred them know, out. Okay. That's 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 tight. So you know how I had mentioned before that, like when we were talking about how we thought that she was actually a girl, uh-huh. a hero. I was like, oh, like I saw like the covers of some of the light novels, and then in one co- cover, like Chihiro was dressed like normally, kind of like boyish clothing, and then the next one they made the clothing look girlier, uh-huh. and uh, they kind of did that this episode because when they went to the aquarium. She was mm-hmm. clearly wearing clothes that like a yeah. like a girl would wear. Like maybe yeah. a tomboyish like, girl, but like I was like, yeah. she's wearing like a skirt. A skirt type thing. And yeah. you could kind of see like the you know, curvature on her chest that she's a girl. Mm-hmm. Like she's mm-hmm. not like yeah, wrapping definitely. her chest, you know, like old samurai this is re- or whatever. This reminds me of uh it, it kind of reminded me of Sugumi from uh, Nisekoi, whereas like she started out like fucking flat. And was like, okay, yeah. that could maybe be a boy, even though you know it's a girl. And then halfway through the series, she has the biggest boobs out, out of, of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I feel like that's what's what might happen with this. They and haven't also, done speaking, that to her yet, though. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. But speaking it's of also fucking, supposed to be like twelve. Speaking of fucking boob physics, did you guys notice Naya's boobs when they were at the fucking? Zoo? Oh yeah, anti gravity tits. They oh, were yeah. like. They were everywhere. They were huge. Where, they were <laughs> bouncing. Like, it, she it like, hadn't been like that. She, does like, that. she did that 360 and they floated for like 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. They're like, and mm-hmm. like, we've <laughs> seen her naked and they weren't that big. No. And they definitely didn't have that amount of jiggle physics. Well, you like, see, that's what happens when you mix a push up bra with already large boobs. Yeah. Um, and oh. naked animals, I guess. And naked animals? Well, most, I think all animals are naked, but. Generally naked. <laughs> They're generally yeah. naked, yes. <laughs> they generally <laughs> not clothed. Except when there's like the monkey with the hat and the little vest. Generally, yeah. animals are naked, though. Yeah. But they, yeah, we they, could talk about all those, pants. those oddly naked animals. God, yeah. Why are, they so, why are they all so naked? That's indecent. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, this episode was sick. Roland, yeah, do you want to talk really about funny. the fucking slime monster? It's like the only thing we haven't talked about. No, but I will say that it reminded me about... What's that like? Isn't there like a visual novel by the Uro Butcher that uh, 
um, he made a while back. It was before like Nitro Plus made um, Steins Gate and all that, but like they made a like a visual novel where the the dude has like some mental disorder, but he sees this like Cthulhu type monster like slime thing as a like a cute girl, but it's actually like a hideous like <laughs> monster that like kills people by like you know dissolving them up or something. I don't know. Like that's what it nice. reminded me of. That's lit. Yeah. Nice. All right. I'm gonna awesome. go out and buy that. Play it. Yeah. Yeah. It was made you before Steins yeah. Gate though, so you you may not enjoy it as much. It was before Probably. they uh, you know perfected. Um, <laughs> the, the visual novel yeah, art. the genre it was before the genre yeah. was perfected, right? Yeah, makes sense. The genre, the genre, the genre. Yeah, yeah. Well, so uh, any, anything else you guys want to add about Little Sisters? Uh, reverse Trap confirmed. Um, no, maybe, but I maybe just maybe like animals. the show a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's fucking um, sick. So I was wondering. Mm. So you know, Haruto's little sister mm-hmm. is like. We talked about how she's like super sundere. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I was like, man, that voice is really familiar. And then so I looked it up and like she's Kirino. the same. No, she's the same voice actress as uh, uh, Minami from uh, Baka Test. Mm. I'm also not going to lie, but when you started talking about his little sister, I thought you were going to say, how much do you guys think that she's actually a little boy? <laughs> I thought you were gonna go there with that. I legitimately thought you were gonna go there, and I was like, "Please, God, Rolando, don't bring this here." And then I ended up. How much it do here. you think she's a little boy, though? <laughs> Zero. So we have, a, we have a reverse trap and a trap in the show. What, what a god yeah. show! That's Ken, that's. I thought Ken that's Toku where you knows were going. how to please the masses. My God. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, you didn't go there. Dose. <laughs> or K no those dose. Oh my god. god. So uh, that would have been lit if they were yeah. flip flop though. Yeah. Yeah. Um naked yeah. animals. Um <laughs> moving on. Shokugeki. Uh we have the uh I guess the climax of Ryu's battle versus uh Mike Tyson Flame Boy, who apparently is the master of heat and heating elements. Um yeah, um, kind of an interesting episode. Um, I thought it, I didn't really like it that much, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> it felt like the ending was kind of forced where it was like, no, think about it. Think about why his dish is better. And then they like went on in explaining why Mike Tyson's dish was like better. And was then so good. And they like kept hyping it up. I'm like, I know they're just like hyping it up and then reuse dish is just going to be better for some reason and and then they like take another bite of the food and then he goes oh wait actually like reuse is better because he had some sort of spinach crepe in here i'm just like this was like so predictable and anticlimactic and mike tyson lost it wasn't because of spinach dude it was because of non-uniform spicing okay that's why it was because, because he, he had spiced he, it randomly and he <laughs> ran out of spices. Well, Ryo had one one hundredth control and yes. Mike Tyson didn't. So that's why he yeah. lost. Man. That's the one one hundredth. Like, it's like baby just steps. Like, it's just stupid. Like See, Mike know, Tyson I, I, needs to take some baby steps towards being a better chef. Yeah. Yeah. And not just heating yeah. things and like actually like. Yeah. Baby putting, steps towards that putting yeah, that control flavor into uh, yeah into his. I bet dishes. you his shit tasted like delicious though. I'm pretty sure yeah. it tasted not, amazing. Not his actual shit. Yeah, yeah. But cool. the food he made. Yeah, his naked yeah. animals probably tasted delicious. Yeah, naked salmon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Naked. Oh wait, salmon. no, it wasn't naked. Sorry, it was it was uh, wrapped, wrapped in, in bacon. It was dead. It was dead. <laughs> actually, wait, what? It, it had a leather jacket wrapped in bacon. <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Wait, wait, what did you guys, what did you guys think of the episode? Like, do you do you agree with me? Like, I don't know. It felt like 
really forced. <clears throat> I mean, it felt really boring. obvious that they were going to go, yeah. oh, his dish is so good. And he's like, oh, now you're going to hear why mine is better. And they go start explaining his the whole way. And I was like, I know old man who, for whatever reason, when they draw him looking straight on, his head is the whitest head I've ever oh, seen yeah. in the world. I was wondering what was going <laughs> like, on with that, too. He has, like, like his, his head for, like, huge. those... Yeah, for those like ten seconds, his he's fucking Dumbo. I was like, you look like your ears are Dumbo, and I expect you to fly away right now using your ears. But um, I knew old man Jenkins over there was gonna come through and be like, no, Rio's dish is better. This is why. And then the other judge was gonna be like, oh my god, you're right, because honestly, they don't think for themselves. They just copy yeah. whoever is the loudest. And old man Jenkins at the end was the loudest. <laughs> so. I agree. And that's what I thought of that episode. <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought it was obvious that they were throwing like a red herring by, you know, putting all this stuff because like they talked about how um, fucking Mike Tyson over there like mastered the culinary technique of heating food. And again, this is supposed to be like a, um, I guess an allegory for central and it's, you know, way of teaching like in the first place, which is they don't care. They don't seem to have like a, a care for understanding taste and all that. All they care about is perfecting a method, which or like good technique. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. Like who gives a shit if you know how to fucking cook a fish um, perfectly, if you don't know how to like maximize its potential through taste, like that's what people yeah. are doing. They're eating it because of like the taste. So yeah, yeah it's like Mexican places in in like San Diego. It's like the ones that people are like, that's definitely not a gourmet restaurant. And everything there is amazing. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> Greece. I highly well, doubt that they went to the Japanese school of culinary. And at the at the stuff. fucking end of the day too. I hope you're able to heat up food correctly if you are a chef. At a, at a culinary like, school yeah. as prestigious <laughs> as, as Totski, yeah. You better. Like, uh, like, come Just on. Just microwave like. it. Just throw it in the nuker. Heated. Boom. I have Delicious. to say that, like, I I looked at both dishes and I thought, like, wow, like that, they make, the show does a really good job of making me want to eat the dish. Yeah, definitely. Making me want to eat? Yeah, I agree. Like, eat in I want to... <laughs> I want to get a cookbook from this show and just like have it as like a coffee table book. Like that would be sick. Or are we still going to do Write your uh, your own personal shokugeki against yourself? We should do it. Yeah, we should do it um, during the winter break um, when I don't live in a uh, in, in the, the winter jasmine. winter wonderland in, in the winter where, wonderland where you don't with, live with in the jasmine. <laughs> Jazz better older so let's often. explain this a little. Nobody has any idea what Nobody we're talking about. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Yeah. So where Drew is right now, there is a yeah. photo on the wall. It's like a painting on the wall behind him. And it's a picture of these like... Jazz like, musicians. A jazz trio, these dra- jazz musicians. And they're like... They don't look like people. They look more like figures, right? They're kind of... Yeah. Oh, do they look like... Yeah, it's it's like odd. People, but but they kind of like look abstract. like Slender Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, and they're, they're like abstract out. people. They're and they're jamming, jamming out. out. And the first time we saw it, it they were like really <laughs> funny looking. And then all of a sudden his internet cut and we were like, oh shit, the jazz man, the jazz men got him. Or something happened. I don't remember, but <laughs> yeah. we were talking about how the jazz men killed you. And so that's yeah. where that came from. Now you yes. know. Yes, now so you the jazz men. The Jasmine, the creepy photo. Maybe we'll you should post, post it on the Instagram on Twitter. Yeah, we'll or put it on something. Twitter. Yeah, on Twitter. We'll Be like, here, Twitter. the Jasmine. The Jasmine. <laughs> the Jasmine. The Jasmine. The Jasmine. Yeah. Mm, Jasmine. Um, Green tea. Yeah, anything Anything else about Shokugeki, guys? Hopefully, uh, oh, I know, Alec, you were talking about um, Irina's boobs. Irina's boobs. Yeah, they're like they're progressively getting larger and larger. It's like if you watched um, Gabriel Dropout and then you saw any of like the the character drawings afterwards, Satanya's boobs got like bigger and bigger and bigger in every drawing that started coming out of the characters until they were just like, this is impossible. And that's where she's at right now, especially that ending photo. Like if you go all the way past all the credits and stuff, she's there like half naked, like, "Ah!" and they're like. (laughs) 
I'm like, what the fuck? This is unnatural. She's supposed to be like 16 and like skinny and short. How does she have like? And is anyways. Yeah. I I, yeah, I yeah. mean they they do it to draw you in. It's sad. I know, but it's Show just like they're satire. progressively getting bigger, and yeah, it it, it was like progressive before, but yeah, now it's, it's been like a jump. It's just like yeah. whoosh, and like yeah, all of a sudden they're just fucking yeah. massive. And I thought it was hilarious, but anyways. That's yeah. that's it. Yeah. Not as big as um what's her name's Naya Nayu Naru Nayuta. whatever from Sister. Oh yeah, Nayuta. Uh, with the with the anti gravity boots. Naruto. Yeah. Nayuta. Naruto. 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 Boruto. Naruto's dad. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Yeah. Any news, Boruto's guys? Boruto's dad. You got any news? <laughs> Do you have any news? I'm watching JoJo. Oh yeah, that's kind of that's news. How newsworthy! I'm still is that? watching Black Clover. Um, JoJo's fucking sick. Like, if you if you want manly bros rocking out that it totally isn't gay, go watch uh, go watch JoJo. I've never seen so many grown men cry while they're uh, while they're fighting, and they're not crying because they're like hurt. They're crying because like the fighting that they're doing is so fucking beautiful. Like. That's that's JoJo for you. <laughs> so sick. What about Bobo 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 No Bobo Bobo. No, they're not. Bobo 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 Bobo. They're not. They're not. Bobo 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 Bobo. Go watch. Um. Yeah. Got any news, Rolando? Um. Oh. Uh. So Alec and I recently did number two of anime on draft shots with both just because and ancient Magus's bride. So mm. check those out. If you um, have been following them, we have been getting a lot of views for ancient Magus bride one. So thank you for everyone thank who's you. been listening and uh, right. hopefully you uh, enjoy what we have to say. We need to do another one on blend S. Um, Maybe in the coming weeks, or maybe when it's finished, we can we can talk about. Maybe the rest when of the you, uh, when you're not in little winter town over there. Yeah, yeah. The Jasmine in, boys in your snow globe. Fuck. When you're, when you're not being harassed by Jasmine. <laughs> they're they're Jasmine. creepy, dude. <laughs> but I love them. <laughs> um, with that said, guys, uh, check out our uh, our all our uh, links. Uh, WordPress, Anime on Draft at WordPress.com. On Twitter at Anime on Draft. Uh, maybe you'll get a, uh, a little peek of the uh, Jazz Men. Um, Just give, like, SoundCloud, the SoundCloud and iTunes. Um, those are updated always right away. I know we're behind on YouTube. Um, mm-hmm. We need to. I need, it's it's mostly me. I need to stop being fucking lazy and, and make slides. But hopefully this weekend I can I can get to those. Um, but yeah, look to uh, SoundCloud and iTunes um, for that. Um, drink a shandy. Drink a shandy gaff if you got it. Um, drink a shandy and a shanty. Yeah. Maybe don't. Don't uh, don't get a Moscow mule the way that I described it. Um, <clears throat> skin a shandy. Uh, anything else, guys? I'm rambling. No. No, uh thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Buds. <laughs>